Uh, firstly, before you go to attempt to install or change any router bits over, you want to make sure you don't have the battery in your router or that it is unplugged if you've got a corded version. Next, what we're going to do is this DeWalt rim around here. We're just going to pull these little levers up on either side and twist it up so it's not holding onto the bottom of our router. When that's, when that's off and you can see that it's not on the groove of our bottom of our router, we can just open this up here with this lever at the front and that will just pull out like so. Move this out of the way, we don't need this for now. We're just going to get into this bit here to change our router bit. So this big yellow button on the side is what you're gonna hold down to lock your router in spot. And you're just gonna twist this end off using a spanner that would have came with your router. If you don't have one of these, you can just get yourself another spanner or a shifter. And it just hops on the side of this bit here and you can loosen that to open it up. So opening that actually makes your hole wider. So what you can do is get one of your router bits when you've loosened it off, put it in, and then reverse it and tighten it up to tighten your router bit in place. So this current bit I've got on the end here, which I can take all the way off, is too big for my router bit. So I can put one in there, and if you tighten it up and the router bit's still loose, it just means this is the wrong size. You should have with you though, when you get your router, two different size bits. I've got a quarter inch bit here as well, which is the right size for all the router bits I have and most of the contractors I work with have as well. So this is what I'm always gonna be using, but I do keep this other one spare in my toolbox anyway in case I need it. All you can do though is just put it in there. I've completely taken this one off, just continually to screw it off the thread. I'm gonna get my quarter inch one, put it in this way, screw that back on. Won't tighten it up and I'll get my router bit that I wanna install, put it in place, and then I can go on ahead, hold that yellow button down, and just tighten that route a bit up. Go as finger tight as you can while being careful that you don't cut yourself on the sharp blades. And then you wanna get your spanner out again and completely tighten it as hard as you can. Then you can put your base plate back on, chuck it on your router, connect everything back up together, and set it to depth and get it ready to go. There you have it, that's how easy it is to change your router bits over. It might answer any questions you had if you had the wrong housing in your router which wasn't fitting your router bits.